seeing monsters at your window No, you can't sleep, you pretend though You don't have to play the hero Cause I got you like you got me When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream Until I last breath, every heartbeat This is Fantasy Esk, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Witches and Nobles with the House of Charm. When we left off in the previous episode, Lord Daryl tragically died, which was very unexpected, even though I keep saying all my elders are close to death. I didn't expect it to happen this quickly. I feel as though it has come way too soon and I wasn't emotionally ready. But oh well, now that it's happened, I guess we have to start preparing for all the other elders to croak on us as well. Some of them, maybe even while we are not in the household with them, which I hope isn't the case. But okay, without further ado, let's jump into the episode. We are carrying on, pretty much straight after the previous episode, Phoenix, our now young patriarch, has gone off to Witch Academy, because yes, he is a patriarch who still attends Witch Academy. He's a teen, but uh, as he is the son of the house, the mantle of leadership has fallen to him. And hopefully he does a good job of it. Now his traits, what are they? He's clumsy and cheerful. Uh, I don't know if he's going to make a good patriarch. Hopefully he does because whatever the case, whatever his personality, the reins of this house is now in his hands. So we'll have to figure out what we actually want to do for his career. I mean, we don't necessarily need a witch investigator. At least the way I play. It's one of the roles we can have. But I like to imagine that if... Someone that we know, for example, Daryl, if he's not doing the witch investigator role, someone out there, another witch, is probably is. So we don't have to worry about it too much. What do you guys think could be a fun role for Phoenix to do? Because I know one of you, I think it was Rubis, suggested that Janine can go ahead and take over Amelia's tavern once Amelia passes away, since Janine is a vegetarian. And that's actually really a good idea because I wasn't thinking about what she would do. However, I have now thought of a problem. Hmm. Yes, she is part of the Charm household, but Amelia's tavern, that business, belongs to the House of Charm. And once Janine gets married, guys, she's going to be moving to the House of Fancy Lace. She'll be Janine Fancy Lace, which means she can't take over the family business. So... Let me know what you guys think we should do with both of the kids now that this issue has come up. I honestly have no idea. Janine maybe could help out with the business we have in the other home. Or she could start her own business. I don't know. Do the fancy laces have anything? They deal in cats right now. And Tiarantine has never been able to start her own elixir shop, so we don't even have that. But I don't know. Maybe I wonder... She's vegetarian, yes. Maybe she can take up potion making. So once she gets married into the House of Fancy Lace, we can say that she'll take up the mantle of potion making. And she can take on the role that Tiarantine typically had in the, um, the neighborhood. And then maybe Janine's going to be the one to start up a elixir shop for the Fancy Laces. So that'll be interesting because I feel like it's been a long time for Tiarantine. And I, I honestly don't think at this age she's going to be able to start up her shop, which makes me sad, but maybe maybe Janine can do that instead. Lord Morgan, thank you for the birthday, but my father has just, or at least Janine's father, has just passed away. So I don't think she would be in the mood. What? The Grim Reaper was hanging around? Where? Where the heck is the Grim Reaper? Oh, we had company. Interesting. Grimmy, where'd you go? I don't know where Grimmy went. Grimmy's gone, but he was somewhere here. Okay, well that aside... Oh, we have little Leo. Wait, hold on. I think I don't have my headline effects on. There we go, jeez. Also, I hope you guys liked 
the change in our intro. I decided not to switch the thumbnail for this season. I'll do that in the next season. But I felt as though I could still go ahead and change the intro so that we know when Phoenix took over uh, as the new patriarch. So there we go. But okay. These guys, these guys, these guys. It's gonna take them a while to get over the death, I think. It's gonna take everyone a while to get over the death. Maybe not Gemma, she seems fine. Her brother just died, but she's here playing with the cat. No, I guess she's sad too. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to judge you. But okay, I'm glad you guys also like Janine's, uh, the new outfit we bought for her. It looks, I think one of you said, looks kind of rebellious, almost like, a, like those rebellious Disney actors. <laughs> the Disney teens. Which is kind of cool. We'll have to see if that rebellious streak stays. Uh, honestly, if Janine's jealous and Tiarantine's jealous and now if Janine has the flippin' if she starts doing potions and stuff, she's gonna be almost like a second Tiarantine, which is kinda cool. So we have all those things going on. Now, I'm almost wondering, you know what? Again, again our plan gets thwarted and on the final episode we try and jump to Amelia's Tavern to do something. So I'm actually going to take them to Amelia's Tavern because I want them to be able to work on that. Every time we play this household we end up doing it on the last episode of the round. Oh, even though I try really hard not to, it's just inescapable. Okay, I don't know if we have uh, the drinks. We have some of the drinks, not all of them. But who cares, we're just going to head over to the gold and the charm. Did I change the name of that? I guess I did. So the gold and the charm is the name of the new tavern. So I should stop calling it Amelia's Tavern. So let's go there. Um, and we'll take everyone else with us and get started on the business. Hopefully things go a little bit better than they did before. I'm pretty sure we discovered we could sell drinks like the drinks that we make at the bar, right? As long as someone doesn't drink from it. So we'll try and do that. Uh, maybe we'll have Amelia work on it alone for a bit. Yeah. We'll try and do that. So let's pull up the... We have one box of apple flame, and that's about it. And a potion of good fortune. Hmm. Helps to find items? You know what, let's just drink this good potion so that we have a good day. Drink the potion of good fortune so that you have a good day. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent. Also, guys, I'm actually thinking about getting um, a mod that allows your sims to keep the items they buy from owned stores. From owned, yeah, stores that are owned. Um, just because for things like potions and for things like these juices and drinks, I think it'd be fun if some of our other playables came here to buy, like, you know, take part in the business and buy things, and then we saw that in the inventory when we went back to them. Especially with potions, I'm thinking, because, huh, I don't always remember to get my sims to get potions from fancy laces, even though I want them to be able to have them and use them. So I think that might be a fun thing to look into. Haven't gotten around to it yet, but I probably will at some stage. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I have gone ahead, by the time this video comes out, um, I will have had a poll for the new dragons that we can choose from for the Magic Brights. I will have already had that up for a few days. So... Hopefully you guys took part in that, and in the next episode, when we jump back to the Magic Brights, we can go ahead and see what dragon you guys helped them choose after the death of Love Moon. But we are ready to move on and uh, start new things, so that's exciting. But okay, darling, come here, let's try and... Let's make a few drinks. Let's make some drinks. Let's see... I don't know what drinks we've already made. Let's just go by the price. Or should we go by the skills? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do some sparkling water. And then we'll line up a few for her to make. We'll line up a few drinks. And then let's go make... 
Mm, cream cola. We'll make two drinks and we'll get started with the store. But she'll come on in. Hopefully this gets a mood up. She's a widow, so no doubt she would be feeling terrible about the loss of Daryl. More so than the children, I would imagine. She just lost her soulmate, which must be sad. Oh, that was that was so quick. How was that so quick? I thought it would take her ages to make these drinks. Okay then. Um, let's do some sweet and spicy juice on the rocks. Make drink, juice on the rocks. Come on, come on. And we'll get these other ones kind of popped on the shelves. Now there was something else on my mind as well, guys. There was something else on my mind. Oh yeah, also, um, I've been asking my lovely channel members. Thank you so much for your support. Um, what emojis they want on Discord, because at some point we're probably going to start doing custom emojis. And I'm thinking I'll go ahead with Ronald's idea of having the patriarchs and matriarchs, so doing emojis of them, and maybe some of the pets. So we could have Love Moon, we could have some of the cats, maybe Ghost Bride and Death Fang. So I'll think about that, and then maybe Daryl, Tiarantine, and um, Colin. That would probably be fun for our Discord custer emojis. Also, if you guys are patrons and you haven't already connected your Discord, um, your account to our Discord server, please do so. Because you can go ahead and, you know, take part in a whole bunch of things we do there. All of our chatter, our screenshots, and whatever else. And any other news that I have or I need to discuss with the patrons. It's just easy to do so on that platform. I mean, if you guys aren't into that kind of thing and you really don't want it, then that's okay. But if you are interested and you have a Discord account, make sure you connect your Patreon account to Discord. So, okay. She's going ahead, getting these done. I'm just going to stack a few of them up and then we'll get this store going. Now, my mind is just scatterbrained everywhere. Can we go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to sell the store... I want to, oh, set for sale. There we go. I can just clickety click on that and set these for sale. Wonderful. I wonder why I can't take all of those out. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Because I've noticed, like, especially when you make food, I think it's, I don't know if it's a new feature they've added and I just didn't notice from ages ago when I played, like, months ago, but... I'm pretty sure when you have like a plate of food, you can grab a serving, which means your sim will eat it, or you can pick up a serving, which means they'll just pick up a serving and separate it from the main dish. At least I think that's how it works. Anyways, uh, Amelia, I'm just going to get her to tend the bar. I don't know if she earns money from this. I'll get her to tend the bar while we open the store so everyone else can come and check out the merchandise and whatnot. But look, we have all these nice drinks for sale. We have the the odd kind of uh, fizz, the fizz drinks that we make, our secret recipes. And then we have uh, Amelia's concoctions. Everything is magical though, everything is magical. Now, when I include the mod, which I haven't done so at this point in time, obviously our aliens, all of these folks that we have, the non-playables, we won't know the stuff they have in their inventory because we never play them, but at least any playables that come to the store, um, we'll get to see the stuff they bought. I think that might be fun. There's also a mod that I just saw this morning that makes it so that you can ring up your customers at the register instead of with an iPad, which is kind of weird, especially in a fantasy setting, but just in general. I mean, who came up with that? If it was like a Into the Future pack, then I would understand, I'd be okay with it, but it's just weird. I mean, even nowadays, things might have changed with COVID, but you have to go up to the counter to swipe your card, right? Or to tap your card, whatever you do, you have to go up to the counter. Unless they have this system in stores arraying up that I have not been to and I don't, I haven't seen. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, I, I shall stop ranting. There's a bunch of mods I need to get, to be honest. Uh, right now my CCN mods folder is 3 gigs, just around, but I have space, I have space. And my game has been able to handle it thus far. Honestly, I need to get a bunch of mods. 
because half the time the customers, I mean, come on, they're not really doing much, you know? They're not doing much. Um, she's tending the bar. Arian wants to chat. It's a shame we don't have any playables visiting. That would have been nice. But, um, also, I feel as though it might be a waste for us to just go ahead and cook up some more things. Who's Cody? I have no clue. Cook up more things that people don't buy. So if they can buy this, that would be nice. Why don't you, why don't you come out and try and chat with the customers? Like Arian. See if they might want to buy anything. So let's ask about price range. Let's go ahead and... Where's retail? There we go. Uh, answer questions. And let's go ahead and discuss shopping preference. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. What's happening back here? This alien is doing things to this human. Okay. For forget about the chatter. Forget about the chatter. You need to, you need to ask relevant questions. See, this is why we get- oh, oh, this person just gained a sentiment for this guy. That's interesting. But anyways, this is exactly why we are never, ever able to get anything done with Amelia's Tavern with the Golden Charm. And we are never able to move beyond just a half day over here. Because we always end up coming here at the end of an- like, of a round. Okay. We have some people ready to buy. We always end up coming here at the end of a round. And we don't have enough time to make a profit or do anything. So honestly, I feel as though we are operating at a loss. But oh well. Let's ring up these customers. Hopefully they don't get cranky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they don't get cranky. Uh, family members. Family members. Come and help us. Come and help us. Okay. Everyone, ring up a separate person. Okay. You can ring... Uh, Oh, jeez, why is everyone wanting to buy at the same time? Let's check the order that people um, bought stuff in. Okay, you take two. You take two. Uh, who else? You need to take the alien and you take this guy. Ring up the customer. Ring up the customer. Janine, you take the, the woman. Oh my goodness. No, I thought she was ready. Is she ready to uh, buy? Are you ready? That's weird. I thought she was ready to be rung up, but apparently- Oh, yep, there we go. You ring up that customer. Everyone, get to work, get to work, get to work. <sighs> ah, okay. Okay. I mean, I guess in this situation, it would be difficult to ring everyone up at the counter. But, I don't care. I feel like that might be interesting. Everyone can just wait in line. And I don't actually know if they get irritated and leave if they're waiting in a line, but... Oh, well... Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Akeem. We're getting to you. We're getting to you. We're trying. We're trying. Okay, look at that. We're making a bit of a profit. Although, I, I don't know how much... How much is our mock-up? It's 25, which is decent. Maybe that's what people are buying. Okay. I don't remember the prices of any of these goods, to be honest. So, I'm just, I'm just hoping we're doing okay. I'm just hoping. Okay, thank you, thank you. See, look at how cool is this? People are actually buying drinks, and I didn't expect them to buy drinks. But this is really cool. This is exactly what the tavern's all about. And then in the future, as this grows, we can hire staff to actually go ahead and work here. Or what we might do, like, if it ends up, it could also end up being, like, a family business, guys. So let me know what you think about that, because Moon, not Moon, I keep thinking of Moon, Phoenix, um, could end up just taking part in the family business and deciding to grow the tavern. So if everyone's kind of working on the tavern, then we'll be able to do this a lot quicker. So I don't know, we might do that. So instead of getting him to do a separate business like his dad did with the witch investigator, he might just decide, you know what, as patriarch, I want to go ahead and I want to put my effort, um, I want to put my effort over here to the family business and try and grow this a little bit because it, it's been a dream of his mother's that hasn't come into fruition much. And oh my god, I just realized, <gasps> it's Alanard. It's Alanard. The dead merman. How is he here? I don't know. I don't know. Was he resurrected? Hmm. That's a story plot. 
I don't know. Maybe we can say that Alanot, maybe he got resurrect, uh, resurrected, guys. I don't know by who, but maybe he got resurrected. He was the first Sim in Glimmerbrook, you know, which is a noble se uh, series to be killed. Uh, but maybe he got resurrected. Maybe that's what actually ended up happening. Spicy. Very spicy. But okay. We're just gonna remove these signs and not worry about them. So anything that gets sold, we'll just remove them and we'll make new drinks. And that way we can keep getting our mixology skill up. But like I was thinking, so, oh, 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 oh we have someone who needs to purchase something. Gemma, please ring this guy up. So I was just thinking, you know, in the future, if the whole family takes part in this, then we can distribute the roles among the family without having to pay an outsider. So we can have someone working the register over here. We can have someone working the bars and uh, all of those kind of things. We might even have a section where someone can play music. I don't know. And they can kind of get tipped by uh, the customers who come here. All of these ways that we could make some money with these guys. There's a lot that could be done. I feel like if we just had enough time to spend on this, it would be it would be pretty good. Honestly, I also feel like, like I've been wondering about streaming, although the concept is kind of terrifying because I'm so used to just doing things in video format. If I did end up doing that, I would have to test something out with my channel members and patrons most likely channel members, um, to see how things go um, and sort things out. But I don't know. I was wondering what series I would do that with uh, just because it's kind of difficult sometimes with my more story-oriented ones. But I feel like Witches and Nobles would be an ideal sort of let's play to do streaming with because, I mean, look, stuff like this. We could spend so much time trying to build up the store and whatever else with these guys. And since we rotate... It kind of makes it interesting and fun, I think. And we're not too involved with stories. We're like not too stuck in them, so... Or too seeped in them, I should say. Yeah, so we're not too involved with them. And because of that, I don't have to do a whole lot of work to keep the episodes going. But okay, we have some, we have some people that need ringing up. Amelia, are you done? Yes. Okay, you ring up Alanad. We'll get... Actually, no, no, no. You ring up... Oh my goodness, Pom Pri Posa. And then Gemma can ring up Alanod. There we go. So nice. So I'm making a little bit of money at least. But I mean, look at this. We honestly need to spend more time. We need more time in these businesses. Because half a day just isn't enough. Like five hours isn't enough for us to be able to make that much of a profit. I mean, what are we doing so far? 215 is the amount we have made. And that's before we have started um, producing anything at the store. Which is probably not the best way to go about things. Now we're getting perk points though. Which is good. We're getting some perk points. And I wonder what we can use these for. Uh, register of tomorrow. No, I don't want that because it's not fantasy-esque. Uh, we could have these. Um, no, we don't need inventory because the way we run things here, our sims kind of constantly keep making them. So we don't have to restock a specific item per se. Um, maybe at some point in the future we'll have things that we restock, but we're kind of focused more on the drinks and whatnot. Um, hmm. Faster restocking. Checkouts, I think. Faster checkouts is what we should look for in my opinion. So we should save up points to get that. Now in the future when we play with these guys, um, if I can be more organized, what I might do is actually go ahead, set up everything for the store, and then just come in do a whole episode with us playing the store. Because honestly, it's kind of crazy, but then every time we jump back I have to catch up on birthdays and other relationships and whatnot, and it gets a little bit crazy. But okay guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.